just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Kirkpatrick fields it at the 9. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Kirkpatrick's a guy that knows that he's going to have to carry his load today as well as some of his teammates out there because this is a tough spot. He's been there before, but not everybody has been. I think patience will be the big word for him today. I, you know, as a, as a talented wide receiver, you're playing on the road. You, wanna, you want the ball in your hands. You want a chance to make a difference in this game. And if they start off a little bit slow, he's got to be patient and let the game come to him and be a tremendous leader and eventually allow this offense to execute and be able to win this game in a tough environment. From their own 28-yard line, second down. He scrambles. Rifles at right. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. Fires that quickly, incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Morales awaits the snap. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Nice run up the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Finds the freshman, and he's hit immediately. Well, you know this defense is going to come after you. There's no doubt about that. And as an offense, you have to be prepared for that. And that play, they made them pay for blitzing. He's at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, the 10, and a huge touchdown play. Oh, my, what a run that was. Oh, I'll tell you what, this kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. Tacks on the extra point. 
So a short three-play, 80-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. And looks like they're ready for the kick. Kirkpatrick fields it at the 11. One team forced to punt Herbie, and the other one comes right back and gets some points. Boy, Brad, this is exactly how you draw it up. You come up with a big stop to start the game off. Your offense moves down, gets, his, gets points on the board. You can't start much better than this. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game for Second, and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 27-yard line. And off to the left. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. Morales to punt. Calls for the fair catch. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. From their own 45-yard line, First down. They'll work the left. He gets to about the 34-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Nice play fake. He scrambles there for about eight yards. him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. Great leadership right now on that defensive side of the football. Well, you can't play great defense without great leadership and just an attitude. And, and right now, early in this game, it's refreshing to watch this defense play with the leadership and with the speed and, and the attitude that it takes to be great. 
Well, we've got a player down, and let's hope that's nothing serious. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Dennis comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. And we've reached the end of one. The score here at Robertson Stadium, the Hedgehogs, 10. The Oilers, nothing. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. it out doesn't get there and he misses his wide receiver there yeah you're right this is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one the accuracy of his throws he's improved but as you can see he's upset here with himself now he's scrambling they didn't try to just force something there just good hard running for the first down First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. They'll bring him down at the 36. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Watch 14, watch 14. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Morales is the punter. Incomplete. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. six-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. He's tackled at the 18. Pays off. Touch 
down. That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he converts the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 47-yard drive, and they put up seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. McGrew fields it at the 18. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. A man down, and he's in some pain right now. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Tackle at the 38-yard line. That's a deep 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 deep. That makes it first and ten. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Mike four. No. Motion, motion. Throw to the tight end and in and out of his hands. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. Well, if a down lineman can't get all the way into the backfield, he should at least disrupt the play by getting his hands on the ball, which he did nicely that time. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Morales is waiting for the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he shoved out of bounds at the 27. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Just throws this one away. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. complete and taken down immediately. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. And now they should come away with pretty good field position. So consider that a big stop. McGrew back deep to return. Kirkpatrick's having all kinds of troubles in this first half. And normally he's having a big game when you're almost at halftime and he's almost non-existent in this offense. And Kirk, you got to wonder whether he's 100% healthy or not. I, we'll have to take a look and see if EA can come up with an answer to that. But he just doesn't look like himself. I mean, you know, physically, mentally, something just doesn't seem right. And right now, this team's going to have to try to rely on some other players to be able to step up their game and, and see if they can get back and, and have a chance to win this game. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Complete. He's got room. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. What a play. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. Throws it to the outside. And it's the senior. Touchdown. Big play. receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And he adds the extra point. A short three-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Well, I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. The score now, 17-7. Well, the way they played in the first half, Kirk, as they go into the locker room at halftime, I think the coaches would be happy, but they'll want to keep the pedal to the metal, I'm sure. No doubt about that. In fact, I think a good opportunity for them would try to be able to score early in the second half and Maybe all of a sudden kill the will of that opponent. All of a sudden you get those backups a chance to go out there and get some valuable playing time as well. Slings it out there incomplete. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Three yard line. The offense calls a timeout. Gets to around the 42. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. Units out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The kick is up, and he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Kirkpatrick takes it at the 21. Tackle at the 29-yard line. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. The score here at Robertson Stadium. The Hedgehogs, 20. The Oilers, 7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud and they got three receivers to my side and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herbstreet's first point of analysis will be? 
Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Takes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. They come out in a five-wide set. Gets it. He's in space. Steps out of bounds around the 44-yard line. That makes it third and two. And so it's another third down upcoming here. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And it's caught. And he's hit immediately. his way to about the 38. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. the 23-yard line. It's first down. Tailback brought down for a loss. Loss of two yards on the ball. Second and 12. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Five wide. He's going to try and scramble. It's on the ground, and the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. And he is drilled at the 15. So this could be the opportunity they were looking for. Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense now needs to step up and hold their ground. They do not want to let this lead slip away.
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of four on one play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. That makes it first and ten. yard line second down out of bounds around the 23 yard line they come out on an empty backfield his eye on it makes the catch and down he goes around the 32 yard line the offense no doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive you don't change your philosophy after one play they'll be out doing the same thing as before just with better awareness these guys have the capability to gain solid consistent yardage they have to regroup come out a bit more motivated next time from their own 42 yard line second down Complete across the middle. He's tackled at the 22. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Makes his way out to about the 12. <laughs> Takes it right and brought down right away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. The score here at Robertson Stadium, the Hedgehogs, 20, the Oilers, 7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. From the 15-yard line, third down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That would have been a great play if the throw was just a little bit more on target. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Kicks up, and he's got it. The 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And down he goes at the 12. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Got the corner. Tackle at the 23-yard line. First and 10. Ball in the 23. the 27-yard line. We've got a third and six here. Ball on their own 27. He's going to air it long. That close to being intercepted. That'll make it fourth and six. go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. stop at the 16. From the 16-yard line, first down. Just under three to go in regulation. just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. And it pays off. Touchdown. the extra point. A four-play, 26-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The score now, 30-7. to Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kirkpatrick from the four. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Fires it out. Brought down at the 31-yard line. 
On the throw, incomplete pass. From their own 31 yard line, second down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Here they come. Goes right, picked off. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. From the 46-yard line, first down. Picks it up. He might have a chance. He's at the 30 to the 20. And a huge touchdown play. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. So he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. They'll go for two in this situation. And the defense stops the ground game. No two-point conversion there. at the 42-yard line. This has been a one-sided affair from the opening kick. And there's no doubt why this game is a blowout. Take a look at these numbers, whether it's the stats, the points, the yards. Every single thing favors one team, and so far it's been a dominating performance. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. Under a minute left in the game. He's at the 30. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Him hard at the 15 yard line. This one's in the books, and our final score the Hedgehogs 30, the Oilers 13. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Curve Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.